tonight, Hollywood is wanting the loss of a very familiar face from the 70s hit show, Happy Days. Tom Bosley, portrayed as the patient, understanding father, Mr. Cunningham, on the show. Basley's, Bosley's agent says the former actor died of heart failure. He was also battling lung cancer. Tom Bosley was 83 years old. Today I'll be visiting the grave of actor Tom Bosley, best remembered for his part in the sitcom Happy Days, which ran from 1974 to 1984. The show was set in the 1950s and 60s and followed the lives of the Cunningham family. Although the show was set in Milwaukee, the Happy Days house is actually located in Los Angeles, not far from Paramount Studios, where most of the filming took place. And here we have the Happy Days house. Only the exterior of the house was used in the filming. The real house is, dates back to 1923 and it's a six-bedroom house. It didn't appear in Happy Days till the third episode when a girl drives a very drunk Richie home from a bachelor party. The house was actually the home of actress Lupe Velez in the late 20s, early 30s when she was dating Gary Cooper. And Gary Cooper's parents lived at number 529 on the street. Happy Days was originally supposed to be set in the 1920s or 1930s, but the creator Gary Marshall changed it to the 1950s because he was more familiar with that era. In the show, Tom Bosley played the part of Howard Cunningham, the father of Richie, Joni and the husband of Marion. He was one of the main cast members of the show, and he appeared in all 225 episodes. He would later guest star in some of the Happy Day spin-offs, such as Laverne and Shirley, Mark and Minty, and Joni Loves Chachi. Ron Howard, who played the part of Richie Cunningham, agreed to do the show to avoid being drafted into the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War ended a few months after he signed up to do the show. Henry Winkler, who played the part of Fonsi, was not the first choice for the role. The other contender was Mickey Dolenz, former drummer of the Monkees. The show's original theme song, Rock Round the Clock, by Bill Haley and the Comets, was later replaced by a song called Happy Days. The new song was written by Norman Gimple and Charles Fox, who also wrote the theme songs for The Vernon Shirley and The Wonder Woman show. The live studio audience was introduced from the second season. Tom Bosley was born on October 1st, 1927, in Chicago. He served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. He made his Broadway debut in 1959. He appeared in his first film in 1963, starring alongside Natalie Woods in Love with the Proper Stranger. Some of the other films that he appeared in include The World of Henry Orient in 1964, Divorce American Style 1967, and Yours, Mine and Ours, 1968. He also appeared on episodes of Bonanza, Get Smart, The Love Boat, The Streets of San Francisco, and Bewitched. Tom Bosley married the actress Jane Elliott in 1962, and they had three children together. In 1977, when Tom Bosley was at the height of his career starring in Happy Days, his wife received the devastating news that she had an inoperable brain tumour. She died a year later in 1978. He continued to work in television after Happy Days ended. He appeared in shows such as Murder, She Wrote, The Father Dowling Mysteries and The Love Boat. Okay, I'm back at Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills. Like I always keep saying, not to be confused with Forest Lawn, Glendale. There are two more graves here which are people who are associated with Happy Days. It's a grave of Gary Marshall, screenwriter and producer on Happy Days. Basically the creator of Happy Days. Gary Marshall originally wanted to call the show New Family in Town, but he changed it to Happy Days after another producer suggested the name. He directed 18 episodes of Happy Days, including the pilot and the finale. He also appeared in four episodes of Happy Days as different characters. He was also the voice of the narrator on the show. I'll be mentioning Gary Marshall again in a future video. 
Garamashal died on July 19th, 2016, at the age of 81. Next to the grave of Gary Marshall is the grave of Penny Marshall, his daughter. She was Levine on the TV sitcom Levine and Shirley, one of the spin-offs from Happy Days. She directed four episodes of Levine and Shirley. And she also directed lots of big films in the 80s and 90s. She directed the film Big, starring Tom Hanks, also Awakenings, The Preacher's Wife, and also a film that my sister used to watch on a loop during the 1990s, A League of Their Own, starring Tom Hanks and also Madonna and Gina Davis also was in that also. She died in 2018 at the age of 75. This is the Old North Church and Tom Bosley's grave is nearby. It's just down here. If you're coming here yourself and you want to pay your respects to Tom Bosley, just come down to the end of this wall. I believe he'd be around here. Ah, here we are. Tom Bosley. 1927 till 2010. Delivered husband, father, grandfather, brother, uncle. a reference to Mr. C here. Shiver. Nobody knows the way it's shivering 